Hi, I'm Apoorva Pathak, a PhD candidate at Faculty of Legal Studies, South Asian University. Well, regarding this current crisis at Ukraine, um, as an international law student, I would say it's a very unfortunate and a very sad event which has occurred. I mean, this uh, current aggression by Russia is clear violation of uh, Article 2, sub clause 4 of UN Charter. Uh, and the whole reason why UN uh, was created was to prevent such an event. This current crisis, I mean this war, is not only affecting uh, the continent of Europe but the whole world. I mean in India we see, uh, we are feeling the effect of war in economic uh, terms. So we see that our rupee is uh, rapidly uh, going down. So ultimately it would be the, uh, you know, the common people of this country who are going to feel the effect of this war. So at any cost such an event should have been uh, prevented by the various states, the leaders of various states and since this has not happened so it is clearly very unfortunate that it has come to this day. If I am the leader of my country uh, who has friendly relation with both uh, Russia and Ukraine, um, I would have uh, you know, tried my best to bring both the countries on table, on negotiation uh, table and to solve this uh, dispute uh, in a peaceful manner just as is uh, guaranteed and provided uh, under the UN Charter itself. What is going on in Ukraine nowadays is concerning me and I am very much uh, worried about it. This should never happen to any country. A foreign country interfering and invading in a country with the uh, democratic processes, with election, with, uh, uh, with its uh, own democratic rights should not come and uh, invade your country. And I totally uh, don't uh, uh, accept this. I mean, for, for me, coming from a country, where, uh, from a South Asian country where war and conflict have been part of its history, I don't approve it. If I would be in, a, in the leadership position, or if I would be president of a country like in South Asia, I would definitely uh, do not approve this, and I would definitely uh, talk up against this. And uh, what is going on today in Ukraine is definitely uh, against the liberal uh, values and against the democratic values which we are pretty much advocating for in the 21st century. It is the civilians, it is the people who, who do not engage in the combatants are the ones who are most likely to suffer. So we have seen in, the, in, the, in the, all these international news outlets and medias that the, how, how devastated that people are and there is a refugee crisis, there is a destruction of the uh, infrastructures and all. This is very sad to hear that in this 21st century. If I were in a leadership position of my country, I think I would, I, I would, I would be deciding not only on behalf of the national interests of my country, but going beyond that and thinking for the old peace and justice of the, uh, of the people who are so much uh, suffered and then, and then decide on behalf of people for the sake of people. Thank you.